Kian Carla. Uh, Minister, first of all, I'd like to commend the Debenhams workers. They've been on strike for over 105 days through very, very, very difficult circumstances in relation to the public health emergency. And anybody that has uh, visited the picket line is inspired and um, amazed by their determination over them 14, 15 weeks. It's been a very, very difficult time, but their solidarity and support with each other is inspiring for anybody that you know, it, um, supports the trade union movement. And it's everything that's good about working class people. You know, standing together, shoulder to shoulder, when uh, you're up against it. You know, um, and remember, uh, Minister, these workers, essentially what they're fighting for is a fair redundancy. Some of the workers have been working in Debenhams for over 25 years. And can you imagine how you would feel after working so long for a, um, an employer and after 25 years being treated like that. You feel very aggrieved, very, very aggrieved. And that's why they've been on the picket line since uh, April. Um, and they will win. They will win. And Minister, you know, we, the doll is kind of a, it, it, almost like a bubble. It passes legislation to uh, in, 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 it says protect workers and so forth. But in 2008, uh, in one night, uh, the banks were completely guaranteed by all, for all its debts, in one night. Yet, legislation that could protect workers in redundancy, such as Debenhams, has never been passed. And that's leaving a very, very bitter taste in people's mouths. Um, and the ironic thing about it is that the Bank of Ireland have 14% share in Debenhams. So they have an obligation to the workers uh, to have a, a decent settlement and a decent redundancy. So, Minister, what I'll say to you is, um, as a member of the government, you should call in members of the bank, the Bank of Ireland, and ask them what is their obligation to the Debenhams workers. You have the power to do that because, remember, the, the, the government in 2008 um, bailed them out by 4.6 billion. And I'll repeat that figure again: 4.6 billion euros. It's incredible amount of money, absolutely incredible. Taxpayers in this country have been on the line for that money, yet workers are screwed every time they try to stand up to their employers. So the Debenhams workers are an inspiration to not only the trade union movement, to the working class movement. Um, and it's, it's up to us to pass this motion today to send the message to them workers that they can and will win. Thank you.